Good day members, I trust you all well and welcome back to another YouTube video. On this video we'll be analyzing the charts as we always do during the course of the week. Before the week starts, uh, I'm sorry I had some technical problems. I couldn't upload the video as I always do on uh, a Sunday evening. But uh, with, with against all odds we continue to push. So we'll be looking at the weekly uh, possibilities of the markets the, especially on the forex market uh, currently let's look at the usdjpy on the usdjpy uh, we have a, a price that was actually has been a bullish for a, a quite a bit of time price impulsed on this demand zone shot up broke out of this supply high tested the resistance there broke out of the high there but eventually continued to fall back and broke out of this low. You see, breaking this low. So I anticipated that price will just test the resistance there and uh, co change direction from there. Sellers will come in from there. Uh, you can look at the previous video on the weekly video, weekly analysis video I had. This setup is actually since still playing since the video from the last week. So this is the, the time to take sales on USDJPY. So sellers could come in there, they are coming in right now, stop loss just above there and then take this price to the downside, breaking this low with an impulse pulling back and continuing the downtrend. The first take profit could be at 132.436. This is what I'm looking at on the USDJPY, on the 4 hour time frame. Let me look at the 1 hour. Okay, price is high and then we sell high and we buy low. So price respected this supply zone it was a test that i anticipated price tested there left the uh, pin by candlestick and this uh, signals a downtrend a drop we could get a drop if you're taking sales take your order sales stop loss just above there and the first short term target could be at 133.535 Taking a look at the Euro USD on the four hour time frame, uh, guys, I had this setup analyzed uh, on a, on a Sunday evening. That's what I always do. I had this anticipation that price was previously here, previously here, haven't without this huge impulse. So I I seen this demand zone and I anticipate that price could just impulse pull back. So I got earlier today I got and it already pulled back. So I had this arrow showing that it, do, it should just pop to the upside and test the previous uh, high and then from there we could just possibly sell with the usd jpy dropping we anticipate that euro usd could buy and test uh, this zone at 1.10767 that's where sellers will start to be interested so price have already bought we had an impulse pullback and a continuation with a breakout of the high here you understand so this was a strong demand zone and we got an impulse uh currently the the price is still moving to the bullish side the first target could be at 1.10749 as i'm speaking it's moving let's go to the one hour and see okay this was a, a good impulsive move to the upside if you have you had bought and seen this move you could have took your buys just after this candlestick closed because this was a, a stop hunt after the candlestick close at about 11, you're jumping in, taking your orders here, stop loss just below. Price impulse to the upside and you could be in some good profits, targeting uh, the target at 1.10749. From there, we could start to see a decline because this is a resistance, possibly pulling back or even a breakout. We will just see what happens. Taking a look at the GBP USD on the four hour time frame. Uh, with the GBP, the GBP has been on a consolidative state since uh, the 17th of this month, April. It has been consolidating. We've seen price testing this zone, going up, testing the high, testing this previous demand, staying within this zone of 1.24650 dollar region, 1.2. 23739 dollar region it's been staying in between here this zone so currently uh with the price that the bullish price coming in buyers came in here so with the demand zone here 
buying opportunity here stop loss just below or below the zone and then you could have been holding nice profits of buys so price we're looking for price to break this high we're looking for price to break this high but what i can say since the dollar is uh, negative we're looking for the gbp usd to be bullish continuing into this week so if price break out of this high then it's, it is uh confirm that it will get an impulse then we get a pullback and then from here we could take some potential buy orders targeting the target at 1.25463 so we're looking for a break out of this high a break out of this high uh from here we could see an impulse a pullback after the impulse so on the impulse guys that's when you scalp and then close after a short term and then look wait for the pullback with the pullback coming in take your long trades or medium term trades take your buy order here and then stop loss just below and we'll look for price to impulse to the upside targeting 1.2 1.25463 i could be wrong guys hence why i'm saying you should always place your stop loss price could just drop to the downside you understand what i'm saying since it's at the resistance Looking at the gold market on the four hour time frame, uh, gold as well as been on a uh, uh, choppy market. It has been a choppy market. We've seen this zone being tested multiple times. We had a touch, second touch, a third touch here. Uh, price impulsed. We had a low. Price broke out of this low and impulsed to the downside, uh, giving us a low of price at 19.68. From there, we see the price coming in with a, a, a bullish market with an impulse and testing again this zone, failing to break this resistance. This is the third test. From there, we see sellers coming in, dropping this price, and the, uh, buyers also defending this demand zone. Buyers came in and they are still holding. You see, currently, price broke out of this. Let me zoom in. Currently, price broke out of this high in the consolidation it broke out of this high at 1987 so with this breakout we are looking for a bullish uh, market gold is bullish by gold i'm anticipating a buy on the gold price uh we could see price continuing to impulse to the upside after we will anticipate that it could break out here considering that we have more buyers into the price or more buyers buying gold a breakout of this zone at the high at 2012 we could see price impulsing from there we could get a pullback and then from here we'll look to take our long positions we'll take our buy positions here or buy orders stop loss just below the supply zone that turned into demand zone from here we could target our first target at the previous high at uh 248 you understand let me see it on the one hour okay on the one hour still we had a uh, first touch second touch uh first bottom second bottom so this is a double bottom pattern price broke out of this high we're currently seeing price being bullish as i speak price is, is bullish so guys uh I'm, I'm saying you should buy gold and use proper risk management because i could be wrong it's still uh, in a consolidative state but we could see tomorrow price spike into the upside this is my my take on the gold market for this coming week the week of the 24th last but not least looking at the usdchf on the four hour time frame uh the usdchf has been on a, a drop for quite some time the usdchf has been dropping for quite some time we had a drop since here the high at uh the month the third month of the year the high at 0 0.94 price dropped like a rock and created a low at 91 from there it impulsed to test the previous breakout from the sellers came in and then since then it's been dropping uh, eventually price break broke out of this low here and just created a new low pulling back testing the previous breakout there at uh 0 0.91145 from the price came and dropped like a rock breaking this previous low signaling a downtrend signaling sell territories continued sales 
and then price dropped like a rock from here. I think even this, uh, I'm definitely sure that this drop was influenced even by the CPI, USD CPI. From the price impulse to the previous breakout, it didn't uh, test the previous breakout clearly because this one came, it failed to tap on it and just dropped. And this one tried to tap on it, but it didn't. Uh, but it, it, it possibly that sellers came in and it didn't all come and test. Sellers just came in and just price just first, uh, first, uh, first top, second top, and then just dropped, breaking out this low, falling back into the supply zone, and then impulsing out of this zone, pulling back. Sellers coming in, and then now sellers who came in there, they have their stop loss below above that price and then sells from here take profit short term take profit is here 0 0.88662 so if you sold here with a stop loss above the the, the supply zone your first take profit could be at 88662 and then from here we will be looking to impulse pull back and continue the sell a continuation to the downtrend possibly targeting a, a similar move like this one to the downside so this is what i have for you guys uh for this coming week uh we hope that the price moves to a direction but hoping is not a strategy as i always say use uh make proper research and check the fundamental analysis as well cheers happy trading